Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Daryl Wad. Today, you're going to need a few items. You need a kettlebell, foam roller, and a band. If you don't have a kettlebell, a bar with weights works too. And a bench or a wall. So let's go ahead and get started. Drop down and in. To sitting Indian style and then let's uh, raise up our right arm in our right side go ahead and open up that side a little bit Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and lean to your lean to your right. Lift up your left arm. Get some deep breathing in here. Good. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out of that. And then you're going to need just uh, something to prop your leg up, box, couch, bench. We're going to go ahead and go into a lunge. And then you can kind of let that foot prop up so you don't keep the bottom of your foot on the box. Go ahead and let it Kind of set your foot, ankle beyond the box and press into it. Sporing around a little bit, finding those gritty sections, working through them. I move quite a bit around in this one. If you find a good spot, you can stay there. Good. Nice, let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, remember we're not in the bottom of that foot. We're rolling that ankle over.
searching around there for some gritty stuff. Let's go ahead and get out of that. Gonna go ahead and drop down to the floor. And we're gonna put our right leg, put the our left leg right in front of that knee, and then press into that left leg. So this should be a good hip hip opener. searching around in there. Really pressing that hip outside. Good, let's keep pressing in. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Now we're going to press into that right hip. Remember we're putting our right ankle onto our right knee and then pressing out to the right. Pushing into that hip, not glute.
All right, let's go ahead and drop our hips onto the foam roller, starting with our left side. We're just gonna roll, just kind of open up. So hit that front of the hip, of that hip flexor, and then rotate back onto the side of it. Just open it up. Just rolling around for a little bit. So opening up, rolling back and forth. Let's go ahead and switch sides now. Open it up on that hip flexor. Good, yeah, just opening up. All right, let's go ahead and come out of that and uh, grab our band, get close to a wall, or like I have a box right here. Go ahead and throw our band around our hips and on both knees. Go ahead and get our good squat stance. And press into our feet and open up our hips a little bit. And we're keeping our back flat on the ground. Throw our hands above the air, act like we're in a snatch. An overhead squat. Just hanging out.
Good, just pressing out those knees. Good, just keeping our back flat, relaxing into this one. All right, let's take off that band. Go ahead and grab your kettlebell. Let's go ahead Actually, and sorry. throw up our leg onto a bench, box, or wall. And uh, go ahead and get to this couch stretch. Starting with our left side. Pressing into the front of that hip. Good. Finding a little bit more range of motion right now. Nice. Go ahead and switch sides.
Good. Still pressing in that hip. Getting a little bit more range of motion now. All right, let's go ahead and now grab your kettlebell. Go ahead and jump into a comfy position on the floor. Make sure your socks are tight or anything are in the way. <clears throat> and go ahead and throw that left ankle up onto the kettlebell handle. Throw your right leg on top of it for some weight. And we're just going to move back and forth, grinding up that that tissue. We're going to go ahead and spend two minutes aside. Um, you're probably not going to get your whole calf. Um, I usually tend to stick to the lower, uh, but figure out which one is really helpful. You'll see me going up and down, side to side, up and down. Uh, you really want to take your Achilles through its range of motion. Make sure you're getting all the spots, loosening them up, uh, and all the ends of motion. Good, just going side to side. This is a great one to loosen up those ankles. If you don't have a kettlebell handle, um, you can throw some weights on a barbell and use the barbell in a similar way. Or a dumbbell. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Good.
Well, I decide to side movement. Working back down. We wrap up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll catch you next time on another episode. Thanks.